Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to design and 3D print a custom shop vac hose adapter. A while back I bought a 20 foot shop vac hose that would reach all around my shop. And it worked okay, but the suction at the end of such a long hose was really reduced. So I decided to cut the hose in half into two 10 foot lengths. And the problem was I ended up with just these bare ends of the hoses and I could not find any attachment anywhere that would go in the hose and transition over to my vac attachments. Trying to find the right size adapters for your hoses, your tools, and your attachments is so frustrating. I ordered several of them and none of them seemed to fit my hose. And on the websites, they list the inside and outer diameters, but sometimes they're wrong or they're switched or they're not on there at all. So uh, I decided to just design my own Infusion 360 and print it out on my 3D printer. Now, I've never done this before, but uh, Bob over at I Like to Make Stuff, he posted a video where he made a similar adapter. So that gave me a head start. So thanks, Bob, for the video. Link down below. Uh, let's make some measurements and get started. One side of the adapter needs to fit inside my shop vac hose, so that's two inches inside diameter. The other side needs to fit my shop vac attachments, and these are made for two and a quarter inch hoses. Um, but just to measure here at the end, it's actually 2.3 inches inside diameter. So let's take those measurements and head over to Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is a 3D modeling software that you can get from autodesk.com. I've got it started up, so I'm going to start with the attachment end and draw a circle that's a little smaller at 2.2 inches in diameter. This end of the adapter needs to taper out wider so that as you slide on the attachment, the fit gets tighter. I'm drawing a larger circle that's 2.4 inches diameter. I press the M key for move, then move the larger circle up one and a half inches. I'm selecting the loft feature to connect those circles with tapered section. This makes a solid part for the attachment end of the adapter. Now I need to transition the adapter to the two inch section that will slide into the bare end of the vac hose. I'm drawing a two inch circle and then I'll move it up a quarter inch. I use the loft tool again to transition from the larger end down to 2 inches. I'm using the extrude feature to extend the 2 inch section so that it will go 1.5 inches deep into the hose. That's it for the basic shape, but it's still a solid body. To make it a hollow tube, I click the top face and select the shell tool to hollow it out with a .08 inch thick wall. The part still has a solid bottom, so I click the bottom face and use the hole tool to put a hole in it. I save the design, then right click on the body and save it as an STL file, and that's it for the Fusion 360 design part. I switch over to a second program named Cura, which allows me to convert the STL file into a G code file that I can send to the 3D printer to print the part. When I import the STL file, it displays in millimeters, so it's really small. I click on the part, then change the length of the part to 82.55 millimeters, or 3.25 inches, so it's the right size. I rotate it 90 degrees with the widest end on the bottom, because it's easier for the 3D printer to print layers of rings from the bottom up. Cura is already set up for my Prusa i3 printer, so I saved the G-code file to an SD card. Let's head out to the shop and print the part. Well, my first attempt at printing this out 
failed. <laughs> it worked okay for a couple of hours, but then I noticed the plastic stopped coming out. I guess the nozzle was clogged. And also I noticed that the reel of filament was rubbing against the back of my enclosure, so it wasn't feeding the filament uh, through the extruder nozzle thingy uh, as easily as it should have. So I made a custom stand uh, with bearings that I could put the reel of filament on uh, to help with that problem. So I think I've got those issues resolved. Um, this was still a good test though. It really uh, confirmed that the wall thickness I chose is going to be sturdy enough for the Vacos adapter. So uh, let's start it up again, second try. Oh my god, it actually worked. <laughs> I've spent hours trying to find an adapter like this and honestly, I don't think it exists anywhere out there. But gosh, I was able to make it myself. That's just amazing. Let's take it off and see if it fits. Right, it fits in the hose nicely and the attachment goes on really well with the friction fit too man that is awesome <laughs> I've got a bunch of other ports and hoses around here that I could print these in different sizes just by changing the dimensions in Fusion 360 so I'm gonna be making some more of these uh, but for right now I guess I just need to vacuum Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.